Hello YouTubers. Well, didn't take long did it? Um, only yesterday I made a quick preliminary uh, video about the Pope's visit and saying that uh, controversy will no doubt come along. So today it did. Um, okay it's not the Pope, it's from one of his cardinals and uh, it's the uh, senior, one of the senior papal advisors um, who has now pulled out of the Pope's visit after saying, at, uh, saying arriving at Heathrow Airport was like landing in a third world country. Yes, this is Cardinal Walter Kasper, a German, uh, a German um, Cardinal. And... Uh, he also said that the UK was marked by a new aggressive atheism. Hence the reason that I thought I would wear the helmet. Because clearly he's having a go at me. And how do I know he's having a go at me? Because he's having a go at Richard Dawkins and he says he doesn't think that we're actually aggressive. Now, oh, hang on. Kitchen knife, right? Well, actually, it's a bread knife. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, um, oh, hey, that looks pretty wicked. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, so there you go. The face of aggressive atheism. Okay, I'm going to take the helmet off. Uh, sorry it's under this light. It's got dark, and uh, I've got to do this in the kitchen. I'll just put my kitchen knife back. Could cut myself. Wouldn't like that. Okay, let's have a look at this. Right, it's it's great actually. I really like this. Um, firstly, this this bit about um, Heathrow Airport. Now he's not actually wrong there. Um, I've got to admit that landing at Heathrow Airport is a bit like landing in a third world country, and and for that reason, I can't really comment on that particular bit. Um, you don't actually know if you got on the right plane when you land at Heathrow Airport. You're lucky if you actually hear anybody speak English. It's a very, very multicultural place to be. And a lot of people who work there um, are probably not um, British by descent. Let's put it that way. OK, he also criticised um, British Airways, um, saying that uh, when you wear a cross on the airline, you are discriminated against. Well... Back in 2006, there was a case of one of the stewardesses who wore a cross and it was against company policy to wear any religious symbols. And she took them to court and lost and subsequently lost her appeal. However, since 2007, I believe that uh, British Airways has brought in new rules saying we don't give a shit who you are because we're a secular country anyway. And um, thus done away with such things. So that, that's one. That's just one tiny point. So we've got back to this point where uh, Richard Dawkins is once again being uh, talked upon as being an aggressive atheist. I've heard this so many times now, aggressive atheism, aggressiveness, uh, and I'm sure we're going to have a whole new debate brought up again about aggressive atheism. And uh, what, what is aggressive atheism? Well, if it's Richard Dawkins, then, then it's not that bad really, is it? Uh, Richard Dawkins is one of those uh, very gentle, sort of meagle manner. Meagle manner, is that a word? No, meagle manner, me well anyway, he's a nice guy. Basically, he doesn't like religion, like myself, but he's not an aggressive person. He likes to speak his mind. He likes to say, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. I have the evidence here that uh, what you're saying is actually wrong. But aggressive, um, he's only aggressive in the fact that he will go into a debate with a theologian. And this is something which is new in the world, going into debate with priests, um, any theologians for that matter. It's over the last few years, something which we never saw before that. And because we can now stand up, thanks to people like Richard Dawkins, let's be honest, we can now stand up and have a debate. After all, it is the religious people that come to you. Most of the time, they'll come to you and say things like, do you believe in God? Well, we went to talk to you about God. And 
Aggressive atheism is really saying, yes, come on in, we'll have a word about this. And I want to put my view to you. We don't go out on the streets. We don't sort of um, knock on doors. We don't sort of give out leaflets uh, saying join atheism. Perhaps we should actually, um, but I've never done anything like that. Aggressive atheism, whatever next. Um, just having an opinion, an opinion that opposes a theological opinion, is not aggression. And the Pope, uh, or at least the Cardinal in this case, doesn't seem to see that. Apparently, uh, Cardinal Walter Casper has pulled out of the trip thanks to the fact that um, he's got gout. I say thanks to the fact he's got gout. Um, gout is a very nasty thing, but probably thanks to him, gout was probably something he could, uh, it's probably a lot less painful than the criticism he'd get if he'd have come on the trip. So um, gout, as I say, one of my uh, cousins had gout, terrible thing, he moaned like mad and said it was one of the most painful things in the world. So I don't deny it, but I'd like to see some evidence of this guy's gout, wouldn't you? Um, anyway, that's just the first and he hasn't even got it yet, he doesn't even arrive till tomorrow and we're already having a little bit of a controversy. This item has actually made number one item in the news in the UK. There's also been a lot of TV on tonight, a lot of TV uncovering sort of the uh, dodgy wrongdoings of the Catholic Church. Um, I won't really go into that at the moment, um, but as far as aggressive atheism goes, I don't think we need it. I think, I think the Catholic Church is doing a fine job on its own of uh, making itself look like a right bunch of pricks. So uh, peace for now and hopefully we'll have more to talk about soon. Take care and no doubt we'll have a lot of discussions on aggressive atheism.